I'm going to do the wire drive conversion on uh, this Impulse 32. Pretty simple. They already have a 316 cable in there now, so the wire drive, or our wire drive, is going to fit in the stinger there, no problem. It's just a matter of taking the uh, old cable out, measuring it, and just cutting the new one to length. I've already done it on most of my boats, kind of saving my uh, favourite boat till last. I'm actually going to try and <clears throat> run it, well I'm going to run it on 8S, which you're not really meant to do on these motors, but you can do it for short bursts, just to try and see if I can break the wire drive, see if I can test the limits of its strength. So I know that length was fine for the old cable, so we'll just be cutting it to the same length. Mark the same area where the flat was on the old one, and I'm going to grind a groove in there. There it is cut to length, done my groove. If you were to cut the cable a little bit shorter or the wire a little bit shorter, it wouldn't matter because you're not going to need to allow for the little gap that you normally leave behind there. It's a wire, so it's not going to shrink. It is it is flexible a little bit. And in this one, it's almost straight. There's hardly any bend at all. So all we need to do is take this cover off. This is a little grease cap. That they have on these you can see it's been pretty well greased now all this come off without taking the motor out i don't think it's going to so i'm just gonna have to back those two bolts off there and and get the motor out call it off okay so here's the joiner you're going to replace the collet with has a, a grub screw on either side. It only really needs one on the flat, but we put that one there for a bit of extra insurance. And just to make sure this, the drive cable can never slip, I've designed them with a, a screw on each side for to hold the cable. So we've got four, two screws on each side, I should say. So we've got four cable, four grub screws holding the cable. Now, because you've got much bigger gap in between your um, your stuffing tube or your, in, your Teflon liner and your cable uh, make sure you've got plenty of grease in there you can either grease the outside of the um, wire or pump it in like I do doesn't really need it for uh, like lubrication or anything like that but it does stop the water coming up now you've got a bigger gap there You can you might not be able to see, but it's too low on there now. Need something to <coughs> kind of lift it up like a hook. Ideally, um, I would raise the stuffing tube up a little bit by spacing it from underneath there, which I'd already done from when, when this was new. You can see that little black thing there. That's a cable tie that I put on there to make it make it higher to make it closer to straight. So you probably could use another one of them to get it lifted up, but I'm just going to use because I don't don't know where a hook is. So I'm just going to use a, a bolt, just the head of a bolt, just to raise it up and kind of guide it in there. There we go. You know, if I was ultra fussy, I would just fix it properly. But I know this will work. All right, so that's right in there now. Put my drive dog on. Uh, 
I'm actually going to run it with a three blade prop to give it even more load just to do the maximum amount of you know way to to break this thing um, from all the testing I've done with these wire drives I'm pretty sure they are stronger than a than a flex drive because they are one piece they're not the stub isn't glued into the wire it's actually made from one single piece and it's uh, <coughs> marine grade stainless steel as soon as, you put, as soon as you put that in you'll notice it's been so much easier so as well as being stronger you can spin it in reverse too if you want it's not going to make any difference at all um, it's, it's going to less resistance more runtime probably more speed the impulse on 8s the wire drive three blade prop Kind of steering a bit funny, just need to adjust that steering trim. I think the speed controller doesn't like the ADS with this prop. I think it's cutting in and out. Yeah. yeah. Is it alright when it's going there? It's going. It's not. And the wire drive's not breaking, that's the main thing. It's definitely quick, isn't it? That was easy ESC cutting out again. It's just telling me it's too hot, I think. Yeah. Well, you don't like blowing things up? I don't like the smell. Huh? I don't like the smell. Yeah. Oh, look at it leaking out. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It got too hot. Yeah. Let's just get this unplugged. Yeah, do that. I still think it'll be alright. Yeah, it's just sort of yeah, hot melted the, the wires. Yeah, I know. From the AD. It's crazy, isn't it? I don't like it. It's fully melted. But the test was about the wire drive, not the whether mm. it could handle that or not. The wire drive handled it fine. That's right. That's all that matters That's to me. Ah, oh, cool. That is, that is like smoke. Yeah, if you've got one. I haven't. I don't know of anything. Yeah. So I'm not about touching them. Batteries are all right. Not too hot. No, fine. That's what I was about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 